Welcome everybody to our weekly HDI Local Chapters live stream show. And yes, that we are doing it. If you're watching it live, we're doing it at a special time today because we have our first international guest from across the pond. Before we get to that though, let me talk about our show sponsor. The show is brought to you by Robert Half Technology, who is a leading provider in technology professionals needed to build, deploy, and operate technology in this digital world. You can browse available candidates, you can search for jobs, and you can access additional valuable information about hiring and career insights at roberthalf.com slash technology. All right, so today we're going to talk about working remote, being productive, effective, and reliable. And our guest today is Thais Rodriguez from Worker. Thais is Worker's digital marketing and social media coordinator. She has over three years of experience with digital marketing and has been working remotely since the pandemic started. Thais is passionate about traveling. We're going to talk a little bit about that. And she has embraced the work from home culture, anywhere culture, I should say. And she's managed her team from many different places in her travels, such as Brazil, Sweden, and the UK. Welcome to the show, Thais. Hello. How are you doing, Tom? How are you doing, everyone? Very excited to be here, especially being the first uh, yes. international guest. This is great for us. Yes, I know. We're so excited. <laughs> so you know, we're talk. We talk a lot on the show about like um, careers for people, uh, technologies, and just things in general that are happening in the world. And working remotely, I would say that most people, or at least that watch the show, are pretty familiar with the working remote thing for the past, you know, fourteen months or so. But, you yes. know, tell us a little bit about what Worker, you know, how they're addressing this and why they came to be for, for you know, the, the remote re working remote thing. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, like you mentioned, most people actually uh, experiment the whole remote working routine since the pandemic started. Uh, and it's crazy because before that, it used to be a privilege. Uh, I mean, for, for tech industry, I feel like most people actually work remotely before. But for many people, it used to be a privilege. And now everyone kind of has to transit to this new environment and actually like get used to working from home uh, and don't know when we're going to be back to the office and if we're going to be back to the office eventually full time. I hear so many people are actually like uh, willing to quit their jobs just to continue working from home. And that's kind of like where Worker came in. Uh, I actually started working the company last October. So uh, during the pandemic, it was a few months after the pandemic started. And what Worker is, is we basically recreate the work environment from home. So we have a pretty cool uh, virtual office, which uh, you can actually is is it, it sounds kind of like robotic, I might say, if you kind of like send people links. Why on this case, it's just basically if you want to talk to someone, it will be literally the same way that it will happen in the actual office. You just kind of like message the person or literally turn on your camera and stop talking, uh, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, with just a few weeks, everything was just so organic, if I may say. Like uh, today, I just kind of got used to it, the whole working from home environment. And same from the rooms, like if I have to talk to a team or schedule a meeting, we literally have the same uh, environment that we will have if we're in the actual office. So just schedule the meeting, go to your room, talk to your team, come back. And whenever you want to talk to someone, just literally op uh, turn on your camera and just say like, hey, are you there? Or anyway, yeah. uh, which is pretty cool. And because of it, like the, the transition was so smooth that we actually started getting more and more people to sign up and create workspace with us. And now we have actually over 3,000 companies with us, which is wow, really exciting. Pretty good, yeah. So, yeah. you know, you, you mentioned this, the, the working remotely. And I know like in my industry, I'm in the technology industry, but I'm more in this service and support where my folks were always in the, in the shop, in the office, doing the work, whether it was call centers or whether it was uh, desktop support, computer support. And, and we all had to... to to move remotely, at least for a while. And we're starting to get back into things, but let's, I want to ask you about, you know, because we had to shift this and, and workers working, you know, on, on making it easier, how, how can we be more productive working remotely? Because I think that's part of the yeah. challenge that companies are trying to wrap their head around is how can I get my workers to be more productive working? Remotely? Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. I feel like from home, you have so many distractions. Um, which can kind of get in a way of being productive most of the time. 
uh, is is crazy though because I remember before when uh, when I used to work in the office, I used to love have one day per week to actually work from home because used to be my day with no meetings where I could just like focus and concentrate. And now that I have that so much, it sometimes it's kind of hard to keep being productive. Uh, the thing about worker that is nice is just basically that you can stay connected with everyone. So I feel like you don't really use communication in this process. Like whenever you want to talk to someone, you just literally just like send the message, uh, turn on your camera and everything. But I feel like the whole keeping away from home discussions is something that we still kind of transitioning. Like, for example, TV on family pets, like everything can kind of get in the way of being productive. Uh, I feel like for me personally, it, it's gonna sound a bit of cliche because I keep seeing like tips of how being productive, but honestly, for me, this is what has been working uh, most so far. It's just kind of taking breaks. So literally when I have to do something, I sit down, do my task. Uh, and then like after that, I need to stop like for 20, uh, uh, 10 minutes or, or whatever to just like, read something, uh, kind of organize what I have to do for the day, have some something to eat. Like, literally, I feel like taking breaks while you're doing your, your task is something that helps so much. Um, we, we actually keep like exchanging uh, thoughts on this. Like the other day, uh, one, one of the girls on my team, she told me that she actually go out when she has to write something. So for example, she has to write like this big article for a blog. So she goes out of the house, go to a local coffee uh, coffee shop, and then just like sit down, write whatever she has to write and come back home. And when she's home, she can do something that is more mechanics. So for example, like just fill in a report or sending emails, like go through an email uh, inbox and everything. So I feel like it's kind of trying to translate your same routine, but at the same time, uh, just try to not uh get uh in the distractions that we usually have from home and that we don't have in the office but me personally i, I feel like i'm so much productive now than i used to be at the office especially because like it is different because when you're in a physical office like people kind of stop you all the time to do new tasks yes. while from home you literally make your own routine you do can have the same thing uh with, with our virtual office but even so like you're in your own space and plus, like, you don't really have the pressure of everyone in the same environment, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, like, uh, I, I feel like you, you can actually stop, do your thing in your own time, like, in your own break, which is so, so much better, honestly. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. Because, and I was going to say, you know, I know we talk about distractions from working from home, but I, I, I have, I go into the office one day a week and I'll yeah. say that there's just, there can be some distractions in the office too. And I, you know, what, why we were doing the pre show, uh, my boss had uh, slacked me a message and it popped up on my screen. And because I don't have to worry about somebody knocking on the door while it's closed and it has the thing saying, you know, yeah. you know, video in process or whatever, uh, that I can just kind of ignore that or say, uh, get to you in a minute and, and can continue doing on what I'm doing. But when you're in the office and somebody walks in, it's like they, they you just cannot they, get rid of it. <laughs> you have they to disrupt do it. you and you, you lose mm -hmm. train of thought for it, 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 They say, what is it? Maybe five to 10 minutes. You, you know, shifting your mindset. So you're right. Although I would tell you, I would love to figure out how, cause I told you this was happening right before we got on our pre on the pre-show is how to get neighbors to not mow grass uh, <laughs> during like when I'm on a meeting, although <laughs> You can't hear it. You were telling me you couldn't hear it in the background, but I can hear it. And I was like, oh, so yeah. it's a little frustrating. But so so you were talking about like working remotely. Let's, let's talk a little bit about how teams can work remotely better. You talked a little bit about that, but elaborate on that a little more about, you know, your teams and how you and your teams work remotely very much. I mean, you're all over the world, right? Yeah, yeah, which is pretty cool. Like, I feel like the whole uh, working from home routine kind of brought us together somehow. Because like you were saying about your neighbors being noisy and everything. But at the same time, like I feel since we transitioned to this new routine working from home, everyone kind of like didn't care if that makes sense like people don't really care that much what whatever you're wearing like what what room are you in like what kind of noise everyone kind of like understand 
Plus, like, I feel like it's very fun to see what everyone is at, like everyone's pets. And like, I, I feel like we can still uh, be very close even from home. I, I do feel like the, the personal contact that we have in the office is something that sometimes is missing. That's why I feel like many companies are kind of like engaging this hybrid uh, working model, which is pretty cool, too. Uh, I have I actually have a flatmate that he moved to London in the middle of the pandemic and he never been in the office and he was like oh I kind of miss making friends at the office you know because I never actually met anyone is everyone working from home so they basically started like meeting up at the park and this was like this way to have the personal approach but it's still the working from home environment and still kind of like have being close to people in both worlds if that makes sense. Um, I do feel like managing a team from home, it can be difficult, but I feel like once you incorporate that in your routine, which is something that like our office, our virtual office is something very helpful. Uh, it kind of goes as smooth as you would go in a physical office. It's just kind of like recreate the same routine, uh, but from anywhere in the world. And like you mentioned, we have people from literally everywhere. We have people uh, working from Spain, we have people working from the all over the UK, really. Uh, me and myself, I work from Brazil, I work from Sweden a while too, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, so it is, it's very exciting the fact that you can actually stay close to people and grow your business and doesn't really matter where you are. Like me personally, I love, I love to travel. So like being the digital nomad vibe was always a personal goal of mine. And now for the first time, I'm actually see a way to actually do this because, you know, we spend so much time working and sometimes we just like, oh, I want to travel, want to get to know this place and that place. And now literally I can do both things at the same time, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And I was watching, a, I was watching, a, uh, I think it was a TED talk about this from the guy who Co founded um I'm trying to think of it's um um uh, it's the uh, um web hosting uh well not hosting but um the platform anyway he was talking about how yeah you, you'll tell me that later <laughs> yeah yeah i was trying to, i was thinking it's it's um anyway he was talking about like they have people that are from all over the world As a matter of fact the first 20 employees he didn't he'd never met personally before and that he has people now that are nomadic employees they like they either travel the world in their rvs or they do airbnbs all over the world and they just hop from place to place to place and and it was it was amazing and i agree and i will tell you though i, I know what you're saying about you know missing the interaction personally but i wouldn't meet people like you though have we not been doing this digital thing you know exactly. so it, it has been pretty pretty cool too and i do want to get back into meeting you know meeting my friends and and coworkers in person again but one of the things i'd ask you like with a company like what you're doing in your experience in the past, even before worker is like, how do you get past that time zone challenge? I mean, for me to remember what time zone it is for you. And for me, like I said, we're have we're celebrating coffee in the western part of the United States, lunch over here in the eastern Rondat, and dinner for wherever you are. So yeah, you with, with you guys, you, you were pretty understanding, like we literally just kind of fit the time that will be better for everyone. But I tell you this, uh, last December, uh, I went to Brazil to visit my family. And because of the pandemic, I ended up staying there until uh, early March. Uh, so it was a bit challenging. Like I tell you, I'm an early person. I like to wake up early. But back then, I used to wake up at like five-ish, six, which was kind of hard. It was nice because I got to leave uh, work at like 2 or 3 p.m., which was okay. So I still have the, the whole day to do whatever I want. But at first, it, it was pretty challenging. But I, I feel like it, it really depends on how the culture of the company works. Like for worker, for example, we're very uh, employee centric. So since we have people from all over the world, like usually all the managers are very understanding. Like we have a lot of people actually working from India at the moment. So there was a time where a lot of our team went back home and started working from there. And obviously the time zone compared to the UK was totally crazy. Uh, so we have to keep it uh, very organized. But I feel like as long as you get everything done and obviously you have your own space uh, and you, your own like material and equipment to do so, uh, that's totally fine. And again, like since we don't have to actually schedule meetings, it's literally just going to a room and... Okay. That's what I was... What, oh, I, you may have froze there, Thais. Oh, we may have... I'm not sure if we lost her. She was having a little bit of a connection issue. 
Let's see if she's... You there, Thais? Oh, Ooh. there you are. I hear you. Okay. Hi. Sorry about that. I had a little glitch. I don't know if it was in your side or mine, but but yeah. Yeah, no. I, probably my uh, connection here is not very good. That's okay. Oh, by the way, I remembered it was WordPress, the founder of WordPress. Oh, okay. That was... Yeah, I we use WordPress a lot. <laughs> yeah, he was mentioning that like they, his first 20 or so employees didn't even, he didn't even meet them in person. But yeah. So listen, we are actually, we've already got to the 15 minutes, but I wanted to ask you, do you have any um, giveaways for the audience, like takeaways for them on, on, you know, organizing your day or working a routine to work remote before we go? Okay. Um, obviously, I, I just got to recommend a worker. It's not even because I work there, but honestly, I, I recommend to most of my friends uh, in Brazil, especially now, because uh, you can create a, a virtual office with us and it's very easy. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like tips for being productive at home, is just kind of like do your to-do list, like sit down, organize your day. I feel like this is the first thing I do. And take breaks, like for sure. Again, it's it gonna sound a bit cliche because every time you see an article about being productive at home, you kind of see something about this. But honestly, for me, it just makes a whole lot of difference during my day. And yeah. I yeah, I agree. It. And I, I'm glad you said that because like, I, I know I'm a little bit ADHD and, and I kind of forget things like I squirrel a lot and I go, huh, huh. <laughs> and, and so I actually use a cloud-based tool to do a, a daily checklist type thing and it, it's automated. So it, it, things I have to do every day, it just automatically moves it to the next day and the week and the month. So that is is wonderful. Well, yeah, there are a few very good ones like Trello. Uh, that's what I use. Zona. It's Trello. Yeah. I actually use Trello for that. Yeah, I use, I automated... use I use Trello lots of times too. Yeah. It's, very, it's very good actually. That's exactly what I use. I've, I figured out not only how to use it for project management, but how to turn it in to a daily dashboard and a checklist for myself. Yeah, we, we actually re, uh, use a recent one. It's called Anyhow. It's actually a small company in the UK. We met them uh, not that long ago. Oh. And it's very helpful in terms of micromanagement. So Maybe you'll you have to make us a connection to talk to them to get them on the show. So that Could be. be. Awesome. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Email me later. And yeah, we, we, can, we can definitely well, uh, organize that. Yep. Our producer is watching today, so he can, I'll have him make sure he reaches out, but I, I want to say thank <laughs> you, um, for being on our show, taking time out of your schedule and having dinner with my lunch, uh, here o <laughs> over in the UK. Um, so thank you so much for being on our show. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for having me here. It was, yeah, it was tell lovely. Matthew, you know, we're, we have to get him back on now that he bailed on us for today. So we'll get him back on another show. You know, maybe we can have him on there when, when, you know, with, with some other guests. So, um, I want to also just remind the audience, thank you for tuning in. Uh, join us next week where we talk to one of our, um, our uh, fr HDI friends, uh, Rocky Trono. We're going to talk about storage capacity, planning for buying mobile devices and things that you might want to think about before you buy your mobile device, like crashing and hard drive space and just a bunch of different things like that. So we'll see you next week, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central in the United States time, that is. Um, and remember to follow us on YouTube and Twitch and follow hashtag HDI local. Thank you, everybody. And we'll see you next week.